Veterinarians are very drawn to animals, there's no doubt about it, so we have a special place in our hearts. But I never really understood how special um, that could be until I started working with the chimps. You know, when you see dogs and cats, you get very attached, but I see these chimps every day, and I've seen them every day for the past 12 years. So when Bobby comes up and greets me, a chimpanzee that sat in the corner with his eyes staring vacantly and thin and almost dead, and he comes up on the island now and greets me with a big smile and how are you, and we get to play. I mean, I can't even express in words what that's like. And without Dr. Noon and Save the Chimps, I can't even imagine where these chimpanzees would be. Save the Chimps is the largest chimpanzee sanctuary in the world. We're here to provide lifelong sanctuary for chimpanzees rescued from biomedical research, the pet trade, and entertainment. Presently, we have 254 chimpanzees who reside on 12 three to four acre islands in Fort Pierce, Florida on the Treasure Coast. The islands are all three to five acres and they have different platforms and different toys out there that we've set up for them. And then of course it's surrounded by the water because that's a natural barrier for chimpanzees. Chimpanzees in the wild eat a variety of foods. Um, they eat what is most available at the time and they spend 65% of their time foraging for that. So in other words, they're walking through the forest and they find a ripe fig tree and they all celebrate and vocalize and pant hoot and go up and eat that for a couple days. So we try to feed the, the chimps what we can to make it similar to what they have in the wild. So they eat a lot of fruit and vegetables and they eat then a protein-based uh, monkey chow. But we not only feed uh, 254 chimps three times a day, we also try to provide other forms of enrichment and that we call browse. So on these three to five acre islands, what we try to do is once or twice a day, we open those islands up of the chimps inside and we send huge amounts of grapes, nuts, raisins, cranberries, cut up fruit, um, so that they can go out and sort of forage like they do in the, in the forest. We are very committed not only to uh, their lifelong care at the sanctuary, but also the quality of their lives. In the future, we're gonna be looking at developing a behavioral program, which is gonna be looking at quality of life indicators for the chimps and hopefully we'll be able to establish ourselves as a leading sanctuary in that regard that others that work with captive chimps will be able to learn from and benefit from. To us, they're people, they're friends, they're family, you know, that, and that's, it can be hard to describe sometimes because, you know, they, they're just like us and that the emotions they feel and giving them the opportunity to grow is probably one of the most amazing things I've seen. Chimps that were shy and quiet and couldn't look you in the eye and over time will now look you in the eye and laugh or chimps that were, were angry and bitter and would, would just poke at you and now they're walking around with baby dolls and, you know, and they're, they're kind and loving and caring and, and just seeing that they can recover. Um, I think that the, re the recovery is probably the most amazing thing because they've been through so much horrible stuff and yet they don't hold it against us and they have forgiven humans for what's happened to them. If anyone has ever had the opportunity to experience or interact with chimpanzees, um, they will understand that there truly is a very close resemblance to human beings. The DNA match is about 98.6%. I often say if you have the opportunity to look into their eyes, you will see um, how much there is there. The ones that we work with every day continually impress me with their resilience, their intelligence, um, and I learn something every day from them and really value the support of so many people to help us not just care for them, but to, to give back to them for what they have given to us.